If you open this video, I think you already know where it is. I mean by location, but you don't know a lot about this place. So first things first, um, it's not a country or something um, like that, as some of you may think. That's why, let me tell you a little bit about geography of this republic. The full name is Chechen Republic, in Chechen Nochchin Chu, which obviously means place where do live Chechens. So um, there are three main cities in our republic, uh, Argun, Gutermes and Grozny, the capital of our republic. I mean our because I'm a local 27 year old uh, Chechen guy who lives in the capital Grozny, the capital of Chechen Republic. So if there's any place I can call my home, it is here. Although I love to travel and love other places and countries as well. So the Republic is located in south of Russia, in the region which is called North Caucasus. It has beautiful nature and almost every place, I really mean it, it's surrounded by beautiful mountains, as you can hopefully see it. Can you? So this place here is not actually the place where Chechens normally do live like nowadays. It's like a touristic spot uh, where we just show to the people uh, how lived, how used to live our ancestors. So, um, but for those of you who want to see how do normally Chechens live uh, nowadays, I will make a video about it. We are here in the most famous locations of Chechen Republic. It's called Kizinoy Al. It is a lake uh, which is located above 1870 meters above sea level. And its location is between uh, Chechen Republic and Dagestan. It has deep depth of 72 meters. So it's very deep. Uh, and it has very beautiful colors. But for now you can see the colors because it's uh, it's still winter here and the lake is frozen so everything you can see is just just the whiteness but if you come in summer or autumn um, you'll see the beauty in its very in its best colors but there are some other um, great locations here in Chechnya and a lot, lot more in the whole Caucasus which I hope I will show you in the future if you will keep in touch of course nice weather by the way guys if you are in any touristic spot here in Chechnya actually it's not related only to touristic spots it's related to the whole republic you have to follow to these rules uh, if your dress code means like some kind of decency um, you have to wear something longer than your like your skirts or like your shorts for boys um, to follow like to respect as I said the level of decency so you can't wear anything you like in a republic so to make it clear it doesn't matter where you go. Uh, for example, now we're coming back from the touristic place uh, Kazanoyam, and in any place, on any road, almost any road, you will meet like mosques like this. So for the ones who want to pray for Muslims, there are, there are a lot of places, um, like small, middle, like big mosques you can meet everywhere, and yeah, you will have a place to pray. You can compare it with Turkey, and Turkey is the same. Don't you think, Mohamed? Mohamed? Oh. Yes? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> By the way, this is Mohamed. Uh, yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, it's my friend and also my neighbor. We're doing like together, uh, like photo tours in our republic. Yeah, that's all. Ciao. Ciao. So, the number of inhabitants in our republic is about 1.5 million. I'm not sure, but people think like that. Um, but in all over the world, there are like a, about 2 million Chechen people living. I mean, most of them as refugees, as you guys probably know, we had like a lot of wars and um, for example, in the 90s, or in the beginning of uh, 2000s, people just uh, left their homes and went somewhere else to for a better life. We've could been a lot more, if not all these wars we've had in in our history. For example, in the last like war, in the beginning of 90s, we've lost over 300,000 people. It's officially, but it's probably a lot more. Official language uh, here in Chechnya is Chechen, obviously, and Russian. So but I can't say that we as modern Chechen people do know our language like very good. Because for example, when we talk in Chechen, um, most of the time we mix it with uh, Russian words. Um, because maybe we've just forgotten some of our words and the other thing is just maybe we don't have all these modern wor words like I don't know the r real reason but yeah I mean everything like for example when you study or when you do some business is in Russian that's why uh, mostly you need just Russian language when you're living here so it's just um, that's why most of the people um, they choose Russian language because it will help them just to go through life then just Chechen language so that's that's the reason why most people um, prefer like Russian to learn Russian language of course we in Chechnya do have people who are not trying to forget their like uh, mother tongue because it's important for them also it's important to me and i just tr try not to forget this language and improve my skills for example when we, when i talk to my friends i try to talk in my mother tongue so just to try to keep it alive <laughs> so do people who care the religion we practice as chechen people is Islamic so for those who confuse us with the Russian people um, we're actually not the same we're like different I would say completely different for example they have like Christianity and we're like Muslim like in most things we're just completely different I don't think it's smart like to compare us with the Russians because like if you have imagination of uh, Russian guy and Chechen guy, like they're like, no, they're not the same. Um, but for those, for example, when I was traveling, not a lot, lot of people know, knew about like Chechen, like Chechnya, like anything about my republic. That's why it was complicated to let them know know where you come from, like, because the, if you say like Chechen Republic, they confuse it with the Czech Republic. <laughs> It's, uh, yeah, you, you know, it's not the same. Um, that's why I had to say I'm from Russia, but I'm not Russian. Like, and like people like, uh, like what? Like, why? Like you're Russia, you're from Russia and you, you're not Russian. And I had, I had a lot of to explain. So that's why I just uh, kept saying, uh, all right, I'm, I'm just Russian. You, you may think like that. And yeah, complicated things like that have, uh, a lot of Chechen people, I think, all over the world, <laughs> when they say like they're from Chechen Republic, uh, you know what I mean. 
yeah. So this place where I'm walking right now, it's something like a village in the city. Uh, it's where I live, or you can call it settlement. So actually, as for me, it's the best place to live in like, <laughs> I think in the whole Republic, because it's close to the city, I mean to the center of the city, and it's not noisy. It's not as noisy as in the center of the city. And you can like quickly get to the center where like everyone, everything is located. Um, I mean, where is every business you may need. As you can see, no one actually is walking around because the Chechens don't like to walk. Uh, they just prefer cars and that's why almost everyone um, has cars even if they cannot afford them they have cars it's just typical Chechen style not me I mean just having cars <laughs> not walking but if you get to the center of course the like some uh, avenues, like some streets, some places where, or parks where people do just walk. All right, say hi. Uh, they can talk Chechen. And these here are just typical Chechen houses. So right now I'm gonna show you a place where our modern village football team plays every like evening football. The best team all over this field. Can I show you that? You see those guys? Yeah. Now you have seen the best football team on that field. Now you may wonder why like a lot of Chechen people have like these houses, one, two, three floor. It's not that they can afford it. Or they're rich. Not, not always. It's just every Chechen must have a house. It's like a home. Um, for example, some people, uh, the West, Western people, um, do just travel with their money all the time. For example, if they have money, they just travel or like um, they don't spend all the money for building the houses. But we do. Yeah, we do that. I mean, I'm not proud of that, but <laughs> it's the thing that it's in deep in our blood, I think. As you can see, we're now in the center, and uh, it's different here. A lot of people like walking down the street. Uh, it's something like an avenue, like a Times Square in New York, or like, uh, I don't know, um, Taksim in Istanbul. I know you guys found probably this video because you are interested in war, athletes, or maybe politicians. Why else would you like uh, look for Chechnya? <laughs> I don't know. And that's why I'm not confident in these three topics. That's why I will keep myself from talking about it. I hope you guys understand. 
But I will say one thing. Um, if you ask me why, for example, modern Chechen people are like popular, like as athletes, where they, where why are they good in sports and not good in education or like science, something like that, or like art? I don't know. It's because we had a lot of wars in our history and we had not enough time, you know, to to develop ourselves. Um, like in every decade we had <laughs> wars or like something, some chaos. Uh, yeah, we didn't have enough time to develop ourselves. But I believe that there are like a lot of, not a lot, but there are some Chechen scientists or like um, educated people or artists, something like that. I believe that there are some, but the world doesn't know a lot about them because <laughs> they're not interesting, for example, like athletes, you know, they're not in hype. You get the point. So we have the Gigi Gomesh. It is dough with uh, meat and garlic sauce. Sometimes it's chicken with dough and onion sauce. Yeah, and um, this is my favorite national food. So two other famous uh, Chechen national food is dough with pumpkin and dough with cottage cheese. Hingles and chepogs. Yeah, we have uh, everywhere dough. We love meat and we love dough. It's strange to pronounce the word dough. Dough it sounds like, I don't know. So, it's how Chechen language sounds. <laughs> so guys, do you know any word in like English? Why? Zelen, Beshta, Elisan and Mohammed. These are like Chechen and Arabic names. Right? Maybe yes, maybe not. Давай, Бешта, ну-ка, он. На английском давай. Давай. All right. What's your favorite like Chechen national food? My favorite food is Gigi Ganesh. The same as me. Hmm? Что с вами? Так, so... Gigi Ganesh and Ringles. Uh, so first is Gigi Gomes. Hmm? First is Gigi Gomes. Yes. Okay. Gigi Gomes is number one. Okay, number one. Zelen. I'm going to dictate you. 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 Gigi Gomes, Патриотичный мой чувак. Все люблю, все люблю, чуть-чуть. Все люблю, все люблю. Давай, вот тебе. Я фастфуду вообще не люблю. На первом месте Жигал наш, на втором Хингл. А я что, всех любителей Жигал наш собрал? Нет. Мой фаворит фуд из... Чечен национал фуд. Чечен национал фуд. Это тоже Жигал наш, но Жигал наш с чикен и оньон... Соус. Соус, о, первым соусом. Yeah, and and also, mm, I like I like nochti chor, nochti chor. It is like Chechen soup. You can yeah, Chechen soup. Yes. Nochti do do. Who man? It's the one guy who doesn't understand <laughs> what's happening. Still. <laughs> I hope guys you enjoyed the video and if you really did hit the like button subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions just put them in the comment sections